in a small town near Seattle, Washington, are grieving today after another victim of a school shooting there died. The entire community is still trying to cope with this latest school shooting tragedy. <laughs> Hours after the community gathered Sunday to grieve for the victims of Friday's shooting at Marysville Pilchuck High School, then came word 14-year-old Gia Soriano died early this morning after being shot in the head by a fellow student. Dr. Joan Roberts of Providence Hospital delivered a statement from Gia's family. We are devastated by this senseless tragedy. Gia is our beautiful daughter and words cannot express how much we will miss her. Soriano becomes the second teen killed by freshman Jalen Freiberg when he opened fire in the school cafeteria, killing student Zoe Galasso. Freiberg then killed himself. Three students remain hospitalized. Days later, no one knows what motivated Freiburg, a member of a prominent Native American family, and recent homecoming prince to commit the senseless act. People here in the community continue to comfort one another and try to make sense of it. We care about each and every one of you. You matter to us. Gia Soriano's family is honoring her. We've made the decision to donate Gia's organs so that others may benefit. Today, a moment of silence will be held at 10.39 a.m. Pacific time, the moment of the shooting, for community members to offer thoughts and prayers to those grieving. 15-year-old Andrew Freiberg and 14-year-old Nate Hatch, both cousins of the killer, and 14-year-old Shelley Chuckle Nasket are still in the hospital. The school will be closed for the week.